inevitability, the Hazare movement brought down the UPA government. At the time, the protest and the criminal justice system was praised for finally going after the political high and mighty. Democracy, it was observed then, was said to be thriving on its most desirable virtue, accountability. Now, in an incredible demonstration of faith's fickle ways, Arvind Kejriwal has allegedly fallen short of the standards of rectitude he himself set for those in political life. The Enforcement Directorate has taken him into custody. All this, of course, happened, viewers, on Thursday. We were reporting it live. And now he faces what amounts to an inquisition on corruption charges. But that is the least of the irony. Kejriwal's arrest, which ought to have, yes, viewers, it ought to have been celebrated as the cementing of equity in the eyes of the law, is guess what, viewers? It is being described as a matter of deep disquiet. Imagine, viewers, a person in high office, charged with corruption, taken into custody after the court satisfied that there is prima facie enough evidence against him. That person's arrest viewers today is being described as the murder of democracy and the birth of tyranny. The AAP has decided to hit the streets with a new campaign centered around the theme that the Prime Minister fears Kejriwal. And that fear has turned the Prime Minister into a dictator, hell-bent upon persecuting the opposition. Listen in to Atishi of uh, the Aam Admi Party, who is of course a minister and some people say could even be shadow chief minister. After the announcement of the why did Arvind Kejriwal get rid of this? That's why he got rid of this. Because today, Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi Ji knows that if there is one country in this country who can challenge them, then that country is Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal has reached the home of the prayer to the home of the home. Today, in the whole country, a DP campaign की शुरुआत कर रही है। आज दोपहर तीन बजे से आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी नेता, आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी विधायक, आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी कार्यकर्ता अपनी DP बदल रहे हैं। What's more, the alarm bells are not just being sounded by the आम आदमी पार्टी, but also social commentators, activists, journalists, viewers, anyone. Who today proclaims that he's standing up for democracy and of course almost all opposition politicians. I was just reading editorials and I've of course written a piece against this sort of uh, perhaps overhyped concern that is being expressed for the health of our democracy but that's a different matter viewers. I was reading a piece which said the arrest of Kejriwal needs to be seen as part of a larger process of consigning democracy to the dustbin of sham formality. The arrest is being linked to the alleged deepening of tyranny under Modi's regime, a slow but inexorable slide into a political culture where the government of the day, quote, does not allow the opposition to mobilize, organize and govern, unquote, through the, quote, arbitrary, unquote, application of the law. The ED claims to have a strong case against K. Srivar. And K. Srivar's team says that the ED is lying. Let's first, viewers, for the benefit of putting the facts out in the domain claimed by the ED and, of course, rebutted by Team K. Srivar. Let me just put them all out so we know what the score is, viewers. The ED claims the Delhi Chief Minister is the kingpin of this liquor license policy scam, this alleged scam, that he sought kickbacks from liquor barons. Kejriwal's legal team says, first time in India's history, a sitting chief minister has been arrested. Viewers, the enforcement director says, 
Delhi Chief Minister directly involved in the formation of the excise policy. Kejriwal's legal team says ED has not published the necessity for arrest. ED says Vijay Nair, a member of the AAP, acted as middleman between Kejriwal and the South Group. Kejriwal's legal team says majority of accused have not mentioned dealings with Kejriwal. The ED says YSRCP MP Mangunta Reddy said the Chief Minister wanted 100 crores for election expenditures. Kejriwal's legal team says the weight of statements can only be considered during the trial. The ED says Vijay Nair received 100 crore kickbacks on behalf of Kejriwal. Kejriwal's legal team says tracing the money trail is no ground for arrest. The ED says Hawala trail of 45 crores traced for the Goa election funding. Kejriwal's legal team says no need for arrest over contours of alleged crime. ED says MS Reddy said he was asked to arrange 10 crore payment to K. Kavita. Kejriwal's legal team says there is no direct evidence against the Delhi Chief Minister. ED says apart from personal role, Kejriwal's role via Aam Aadmi Party, important. Kejriwal's legal team says ED misled court over reasons for summons. Arrest is illegal. It just goes on and on, viewers. The ED says during the search, Delhi Chief Minister was not cooperative. Kejriwal's legal team says larger issue of democracy involved in the case. There are many criticisms, viewers, to be made, let me tell you, of the ED's actions. But linking Kejriwal's arrest to democratic backsliding isn't one of them. Now, viewers, I've prepared some very simple hard facts for you tonight. Nothing complicated, nothing like the ED versus the AAP face-off I just painfully read out to you. These are very simple, mostly based on logic, but undeniable logic because, viewers, it is based on hard facts. Number one, viewers, AAP has championed the Enforcement Directorate's crackdown against graft in states such as Punjab and West Bengal when it wanted to score points against the Congress and TMC, respectively, viewers. Yes, the AAP that is today accusing the ED of being the catchpaw of the Prime Minister in the larger scheme of quashing, throttling democracy and, of course, turning India into a tyranny like Putin's Russia. That same ED, viewers, the AAP was praising. When it felt that the AAP, the ED was doing a good job neutralizing the AAP's opponents. That's one basic fact. The second fact, viewers, Kejriwal has built a long list of critics who deride him on the integrity parameter. In fact, many of those today attributing his arrest to Modi's authoritarianism had themselves parted way or were turned out by Kejriwal for eschewing per probity in political life. They said that he was no longer somebody who could speak for integrity. We have to ask, were the Prashant Bhushans and Yogendra Yadavs playing parlor games then? Or are they playing them now? Third viewers, third hard fact, democracies are best nurtured by clean politicians. Those today siding with Kejriwal are the first to point out that the laws need to be strengthened so they can prevent the corrupt from being elected to office. Surely then viewers, Kejriwal's arrest is serving the public interest by informing voters about his eligibility or lack thereof. The Congress Delhi unit itself, those members have accused Kejriwal of being a kingpin of the Delhi liquor excise policy scandal. Fourth, hadn't Kejriwal dodged nine summons from the enforcement directorate today? Viewers, they're saying, oh, look at the timing. It's just before the election. The first round is yet to happen. And within weeks of that, Viewers, have they forgotten that the first summons went out in October last year? He dodged nine of them. And didn't the High Court viewers deny him, which is the next point, interim protection. Court, interim protection, uncourt. This is hard fact five from the ED's coercive action. Setting the stage for his arrest. Is the High Court also now presumed to be part of the Prime Minister's alleged campaign to subvert democracy? Let's look at that fifth hard fact, viewers. It's there on your screens. Let's fire it. There it is. The Delhi High Court denied Kejriwal interim protection from arrest only after evaluating the ED evidence against him. Indeed, the judiciary is increasingly becoming the victim of a schizoid iconoclasm. It is hailed by a section of self-styled civil society activists 
when the outcomes are in line with their expectations and slandered if the verdict doesn't suit their interests. Fifth, truth be told, trouble has been brewing for AAP ever since it introduced a new liquor policy in 2021. Its sudden withdrawal in 2022 when its implementation was linked to backhanders dented AAP's credibility and underlined the need for CBI and ED investigations. The fact that the courts have not granted any relief to Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh and Vijay Nair is being increasingly seen as a sign of AAP's culpability. Only the most partisan then viewers would deny that Kejriwal arrest was not an arrest foretold. Now viewers, is the Vendetta charge being applied selectively to Modi? Why were the incumbent opposition chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh and Punjab not accused of tyranny when they prosecute the likes of Chandrababu Naidu and Sukhpal Khaira? Viewers, Sukhpal Khaira was picked up by whom? Bhagwan Man, the chief minister of Punjab. He wasn't tyrannical when he did that. But viewers, it is here in serving the public interest that the Modi government must be impeccably impartial. Unfortunately, it is also on this score that the government's crackdown on corruption doesn't always pass the smell test. Leaders with blots on their character but who join the BJP suddenly become whitewashed. This is also happening. Hypocrisy is an all too common affliction of electoral politics, whether it's on the AAP side or the BJP. Populists routinely become prisoners of their own public persona. To link the NDA selectivity on graft to the death of democracy, however, is to misread the symptoms of what is afflicting viewers, the NDA or the BJP or who else? I've given you the hard facts, viewers. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. We've heard so much. Sanju Verma, let me begin with you first. I am holding up newspapers here. Look at these newspapers. These newspapers have reams and reams. Of course, I have rebutted some of this commentary in my own piece. But all of them are saying the same thing. That you want an opposition mukt election, you want to shove everybody into jail like Putin does. Of course, he sends them much further. But uh, this is what you are doing. This is what you are doing and this is wrong. And, you know, look at this. We have become... Uh, not just an electoral autocracy, but we are worse. Everything that VDEM says about us is true. Can you now come out and allay those fears? Sanjay Varma. Thank you, Sanjay Rahul. Varma. Yes. Uh, Rahul, first and foremost, thank you for that uh, exceedingly comprehensive introduction, which uh, has laid down the tenor of the debate. Uh, I'll start with a few points very quickly. First and foremost, you know, uh, let me take the last bit first. VDEM. Videm says that, you know, democracy is under threat in India. This is the same Videm, uh, which for the last two years has been saying that uh, Finland is one of the happiest countries to stay in. And uh, anyone uh, who can Google knows that Finland has the highest suicide rate. Uh, two years back, uh, the presidential palace in Sri Lanka uh, was raided uh, thanks to corruption by Rajapaksa, who was hounded out. And uh, Vidim, just a few months ahead of that, had said that Sri Lanka is one of the best places to live in. So Vidim has zero credibility, be that as it may. I will uh, address the elephant in the room. First and foremost, kya democracy khatre mein hai? The date was 27th February 2002. Gujarat riots. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hounded, maligned, attacked, selectively targeted for the longest time. I say he was guillotined by a left-leaning cabal. And it was in June 2022 that the Supreme Court gave him an unconditional clean sheet saying there was no criminal conspiracy by Narendra Modi. And yet he's hounded. Democracy kya 20 saal tak khatre mein nahi thi? The date was 26 November 2005. Sohrabuddin Sheikh was killed. Amit Shah was maligned, hounded, attacked. He was given a clean sheet by the Bombay High Court in 2016. But Harsh Mandir went and appealed against it. Finally, Supreme Court gave an unconditional clean sheet to Amit Shah in this particular case in 2018. It took one, three, 13 years for Amit Shah uh, to finally get relief. He never said, Lok Tantra khatre mein hai, Samvidhan khatre mein hai, democracy khatre mein hai. And last but not the least, 6 December 1992, the Babri Masjid demolition. It was in 2020 that the Supreme Court gave a clean sheet to Murli Manohar Joshi, Uma Bharti, Lal Krishna Advani, and the uh, no more uh, ex-former Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Kalyan Singh. 
I don't think I ever saw Uma Bharati or L.K. Advani saying democracy khatre mein hai. So those people, jo aal democracy ke surma ban kar, democracy ki duhai dete hai, you first look into your own gireban, do some introspection. Now very quickly, has the ED been draconian and selective? I'm also writing an exhaustive piece uh, on this, which should write, uh, you know, ideally be published tomorrow. I say this. If it is a Rahul Shiv Shankar or a Shekhar Ayyar, a Sanju Varma, Anand Ranganathan, uh, Akash Deep Puni or a Taisim Punawala, Pele Teen Saman Tak, the ED bears with you. After the third Saman, if you don't comply, if you don't present yourself for interrogation, the ED under section 17, 18, 19 has so much passed for search, seizure and arrest because under section 45 of the PMLA, when you are accused of money laundering, that becomes automatically a non-bailable, cognizable offense. So, jo ye kehte hai ki ED is being draconian. Aapko yaad dila du, that the ED actually has been very generous and gave a long rope to Arvind Kejriwal. He was arrested after the court refused to stay Kejriwal's arrest, after the court refused to quash okay. summons against Kejriwal, and after Arvind Kejriwal brazened it out by refusing to comply with nine summons from the ED. Now, the third and most important point, was there even a liquor scam? Because if you look at the Aam Admi Party and its uh, empathizers and acolytes, they say scam to hell nahi. There is no money trail to them. I will just say, go back and read the October 2023 judgment of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and SV and Bhatti, where they clearly said that a money trail, albeit tentatively, of rupees 338 crore has been established. And why was K. Kavita not given relief by the Supreme Court? Because... There has been a 100 crore quid pro quo where she gave a bribe of 100 crore to Arvind Kejriwal and company 30 seconds. Why are Vijay Nair in lieu of which K. Kavita invested 65% in Samir Mahindru's Indosprit, 32.5% via her confidant Arun Ramchandra Pillai who has now started singing like a canary and deposed against her okay. and another 32.5% via her other confidant Prem Rahul. So, you know, where there is a money trail, it does not necessarily have to be in cash. You are investing in a company because you have bribed XYZ and okay. you are being gratified in lieu of that. So, has there been a money trail? Yes. Have there been proceeds of crime? Yes. Is there a malafide intent? Yes. Was the ED being draconian? No. Did the court give relief to Sisodia, Satinder Jain, Sanjay Singh and Kejriwal? No. Scam hua tha? Ji haan. Okay. CAG ki report kehti hai. There was a scam okay. of over 2,000 crore and the CAG is not a handmaiden of Narendra Modi. It is a constitutional body okay. under chapter 5 of the constitution. It is independent. Okay. Viewers, you've heard Sanju Varma's defense. Technical arguments there. Strong ones, you could argue. I want to bring in Dr. Ranganathan, but just before that, Tehseen Poonawala, because this was a political yeah. uh, exposition by Sanju Varma in defense of her government. Sure. Uh, Tehseen Poonawala, look, you speak usually for the Congress party. Yes. That hasn't in the past spoken for Mr. Kejriwal in connection with this particular liquor excise policy alleged scam. That's true. So let me put that on record. Absolutely. There must be full disclosure. Your great friend, Mr. Markan, and others from your party have actually called for his arrest. Even Mr. Sh Mr. Mr. Deekshit yes. has said he should be arrested. And of course, yes. I can play out all those sound bites. So, why is the Congress today throwing its weight behind Mr. Kejriwal and also echoing this tyranny charge? And do you have the legs yes. to rebut each one of these points? Yes. Thank you, Rahul. At the onset, a very, very happy holy to each and every one of you, to your viewers, to your family, Rahul, and to everybody. Thank you. And it's terrible that an elected chief minister of Delhi is in jail on charges that, in the words of Rajuji, in, who represented ED in court, says, we have no money trail, we still have to establish a money trail. This after over a year, Manish Sisodia has been in jail and Sanjay Singh continues to language in jail for four months. Here are the facts of the case on why uh, Likagate uh, and Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is absolutely not just draconian, it should make all of us pause and think. There's a gentleman called P. Sarat Chandra Reddy. P. Sarat Chandra Reddy is the director of a company called Orbindo Pharma. It's a family firm that formed it in 1986. 89, it starts production. It then goes on to become a public listed company, but most of the directors are from his family. The ED says P. Sarat Chandra Reddy is the kingpin of this whole liquor gate scam. He's a Hawala operator and it arrests him on 10th of November. 
On 15th of November, P. Sarat Chandra Reddy's company, in which he is the director of Orbindo Pharma, gives 5 crore rupees to the BJP, which the BJP encashes on 21st of November. And then, lo and behold, P. Sarat Chandra Reddy from a accused becomes an approver for your viewers, a witness. A witness who ED does not oppose allows him to become a witness, an approver, and he names the Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal. As I said in my opening remarks, Raju says, no money trail. Now what Sanjuji said is there's a 300 crore money trail as the Honorable Supreme Court Chief Justice said, no. In ED, you will not get bail because of the twin conditions that you are guilty until you prove yourself innocent, and in a bail hearing, you don't go into the facts of the matter. So anything that ED comes out and says, they will tell, they will say that we have a 300 crore money trail, they'll say you have a 100 crore money trail, you say Karthi Chidambam has a tennis court in, in Spain, you have to believe it's true until you can prove it's not true, but you can never prove. Now, out of the 10,000 odd cases, yes, 10 or 12 cases have got bail, but as a rule, you generally don't get bail of the 9,900 cases. Now, may I please make a third and a very important point. Why were nine summons skipped by the Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi? Because Rahul, all of us sitting on this panel, if we are summoned by any agency, it is our fundamental right to know whether we are summoned as an accused, an approver, a witness, or, some, or just to give a statement in some other thing. Article 20 of the Indian Constitution says it's a fundamental right. It's not a legal right, uh, Rahul. It's a fundamental right not to indict oneself. You have a right to know why you've been summoned. This is even if a small police station summons you, Rahul, or summons me, and I know you've been hounded by people who I support. I know this, and I stand up for your freedom. You have a right to know why you've been summoned. This is not happening to a chief minister. This is where we all have to pause and think. The same ED, which calls itself a professional agency, for Chagan Bujbal says, look, we lost his file and it shuts the case. The same Himanta Biswa Sharma against whom, ED, against whom BJP removes a white paper today becomes an approver because he's the chief minister in BJP. This is not a level playing field. ED must also remember that times will change and these officers must owe their loyalty to the that. constitution of the country. Let's not go. Not to, let's, let's no, it is my duty to say this. It is my duty to say this because the viewers, loyalty to the constitution cannot be stopped. Viewers, they are I'm not loyal to people, they are okay, loyal okay, to the constitution. Okay, okay. Am I there saying are, something wrong? No, no, one second. One is second. it wrong? Uh, one second. Viewers, you say that just, I'm wrong? just a few years ago, let me tell you, I've been around for a while. Somebody once said that the CBI was the Congress Bureau of Investigation and that person was sued left, right, and center. I just want to make sure that what Mr. Tehseen Poonawala is saying is in his own private capacity Absolutely. as an individual. And, allow me to and if that. he believes that he can get away by threatening the enforcement director, that's on him. Point. And he's but talking about retribution, etc. But you please made that. allow me to make that point again since you didn't. No, no, you made that just point. Now let me I'll bring in Dr. Nangana. No, I no, want the ED officers no, to know I can't. their loyalty to the Please, please, please. One second. And if they want to sue me for saying that, one second, one second. Viewers, the question is not about who gave what right now. The question, why are we having this debate? The debate is about whether democracy is withering under a tyranny. Did you hear any answers, viewers, on the question I posed? We had some technical defense today about some chap who gave money or didn't give money or gave money to one then gave money to the other. He's got a money. But, viewers, the maximum attention is being put on things that the court should be concerned with. These people who are writing without, now just look at this one paragraph viewers, this chap who's writing away. I don't know how this has passed the test of standards, Dr. Ranganathan. Listen to this. Listen to this. Not one example is given. And the statement is, how does one describe the current regime? How does one make sense of, of the contemporary moment? Some time ago, scholars complained that India is becoming an electoral-only democracy. Subsequently, the regime was named an electoral autocracy. However, the resource asymmetry and misuse of official machinery on the eve of elections has cast a dark shadow on the rather circumspect descriptions. It begs the question whether taming the opposition qualifies the current regime as democratic. Taming corruption. Not the opposition. Crazy. I mean, this <clears> man <throat> has not even given you a tenable example, Dr. Ranganathan, to explain where he's coming from. This is what's bothering me. And this will be read by 30 people, quoted by another 30, and it will become <laughs> the dominant headline in the New York Times, which it already has become because of this lot. So, Dr. Ranganathan, come in on this. Tell us, what are we supposed to think? I think, uh, first of all, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to your fellow, my fellow panelists and to your viewers and wishing everyone a very happy Holi. 
uh, I have three or four points to make. And in the spirit of Holi and my good uh, friend and brother Tehseen being there, I would uh, I would just ask him a few questions. And in the spirit, I, I would request him to just answer yes and no. In the spirit of things, Tehseen, you would I know you would have longer explanations for that. But just for the okay, sake it. of the debate tonight. Okay. For the sake of debate tonight, I, I urge you, I beg you to answer in yes and no. So question me. number one, Tessin, is uh, the chief minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, is he an arm admi? Yes or no? Yes, he is an arm admi. Everybody is equal before thank the constitution. You. No, 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 yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, Rahul, you know the law very well, as well as I do. You are provided three summons by the enforcement directorate to appear. And if you don't, by law, sanctioned by the constitution as well as approved and stamped by the supreme court of india you can be arrested through a non bailable warrant if that is true for the aam aadmi why is that not true for arvind kejriwal question number 2 uh, uh, tehseen is it not a fact that when the aam aadmi arvind kejriwal slandered the late mr arun jaitley and mr late uh, the late mr arun jaitley sued him he recruited the services of Mr. Ram Jesh Malani, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, the fee for which was 3.8 crore rupees. Is it true, yes or no, that Arvind Kejriwal wanted the daily taxpayer to pay that fee? Yes or no? I'm not aware of it. I don't know what was Ram Jeet Malani's fee, but you're wrong on the first part, so it can't be a yes or no. no, no because no, no, you're wrong. You cannot, no, no, he cannot. You can leave it. Did he leave it? This is where it gets. Otherwise, let me not ask him. You cannot miss Let me not ask him. No, you cannot miss me because those nine summons did not tell the chief minister why he was being called. You cannot miss me. No, hang on. It's not fair. The Supreme Court has even come in and mentioned that the enforcement directorate is not under any obligation to that effect. Please check your facts. Anyhow, I don't want to go down. On this rabbit hole. Yeah, yes, so, doctor. Uh, 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 my, my first mistake was I, I, I trusted Tessin to answer yes and no. He's not. So let, let's let's not play that game anymore. The fact of the matter is that Arvind Kejriwal wanted the daily taxpayer to fund his lawyer's fees for which later on he gave a groveling apology to late Mr. Arun Jaitley. So I want to ask the AAP supporters who is now furnishing the lawyer's exorbitant lawyer's fee to Dr. Singhvi who is representing Arvind Kejriwal. Is it us? The daily taxpayers, in which case we need to know. Number three, is it not a fact that the same Supreme Court, through a three-judge bench judgment, has not only verified but stamped and approved the so-called draconian ED measures under which people like Kejriwal have been thrown in jail? The reversal of guilt, for example, uh, proven until guilty, the attachment of property, the statement being admissible, all those have been gone through one by one by the Supreme Court. And they have been ratified and approved. Number four, I am astonished that Tessin brought in the pharma guy. Does he not know that the moment somebody turns approver, the state believes that fellow is guilty? But in the larger exactly. scheme of things, his guilt is lower than the person he is going to get under the net. So yes, that person is guilty. The state believes that person should be punished. But because he's turned approver, I mean, I'm astonished that Tessin is now, you know, talking about law. He possibly believes that other people would not know that law. And above and beyond this, Rahul, I want to say something about the whole nub of the bit, which is democracy is under threat. I want to ask a simple question. What happens to democracy in Bengal, <laughs> where the, the high court says we have no faith in the West Bengal police, the case must off Sandesh Kali and the person must be handed over to the CBI because the police is in cahoots. What happens to democracy in Pinaraya Vijayans, Kerala, where 120 people are booked for their FB post allegedly denigrating the chief minister? What happens to the democracy in Punjab, where people are arrested left and right for exposing the 45 crore Sheesh Mahal, uh, uh, the money that was spent in every state including Congress ruled states. What happens to democracy then? Obviously, it is not in danger. What happens to the democracy when the BJP is convicted for violating FCRA rule and under in any civilized country, the opposition would have come onto the street demanding resignation of the prime minister, but nothing of said that's not happened. Why? Because the Congress was also convicted under the same FCRA violation rules. Congress did nothing. In fact, Congress helped the BJP How in amend the FCRA Act. Then people like Tessim were completely silent. Okay, what happened like to the democracy line. then? Just one line. To smash this complete. Just one line. I agree with Anand. P. Sarat Chandra Reddy is a criminal, a money launderer, and he's been arrested by the ED. When the BJP knew it, why did they take money from him? 
and in cash those bonds from a money launder this that. itself shows the money trail okay. this itself I exposes them okay yes very now, quickly now, sanju varma one second now, let now, sanju varma answer pull it let me question. answer this let me yeah. answer this very please. quickly Thank i you. need to take a break yes yes yeah. very quickly first and foremost you know under section 195 of the ipc section 308 and 340 of the crpc which i'm sure pessin is well aware of even if you turn an approval which sarath chandra reddy has done you don't. that does not mean that yes. your sentence will be commuted that's right correct in ongoing investigation against sarath chandra reddy has neither been derailed nor been suspended yes. nor been disbanded point number 2 and yes. my last point is this my last point is this if you are accusing the bjp of knowing that there was uh, you know uh, involvement of sarath chandra reddy in the liquor scam and we still took money from him by that logic i ask you the biggest donor is santiago martins future gaming he was raided in 1920 and in 2021 why is it that after that he chose to give money to the dmk the congress and yeah. the tmc and not the bjp okay he could have given the money viewers, to the bjp if he was so scared viewers, why did he give are, money to the dmk and the okay. congress viewers, so not the scene okay viewers 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 i'm going to take a very short break we've had three very fiery spirited people speaking when we come back shekhar ayer and akashdeep muni will take the stand I'm coming back in precisely 2 minutes viewers. Madam ji, usse pehle hame holi nasha mukt ho ke manani chahiye. Koi nasha nahi aur kisi ko dukh na de. Aisi holi khele jisme sabko sukh mile. Festival of Colors has finally arrived. Visuals of Holi ka dahan and Holi celebrations have arrived from all across India, with streets being struck with vibrant colors and celebrations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his greetings for the festival to all his fellow countrymen. Prime Minister Modi also conveyed his wishes to the people of the nation, addressing them as his parivarjan in a social media post. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh also visited the Siachen uh, and celebrated Holi with soldiers who remain on vigil even in the world's most difficult terrain. Let's listen in to some of the reactions that's come in so far. Well, I am extremely happy that I am attending today's program here in the Rashtriya Swayam Sangh Mathura, and that they did a very wonderful uh, havan for uh, the uh, for every for all the Karya Kartas. Everybody participated. It's a very very important occasion for our Bharatiya Janata Party. Look, Imran Ji, a present of all holy eye, full of holy, next tomorrow holy. गुलाल की होली ये एम की होली है देखो ये पिचकारी की होली चल रही है और लड्डू जलेबी की होली हमारे यहाँ कन्हैया होली खेलने जाते हैं बरसाने में जब गोपियां देखती हैं कि कन्हैया हार गए होंगे थक गए होंगे भूखे लग रही होगी तब कन्हैया वो लड्डू भी खिलाती है गोपियां तो लड्डू की हमने इस होली पे सभी सनातनियों से बात कही है सबसे पहले हमें होली नशा मुक्त होकर मनानी चाहिए कोई नशा नहीं और किसी को दुख ना दे ऐसी होली खेले जिसमें सबको सुख मिले Here's a fundamental question we asked before this break, and I want to bring in Shekhar Iyer, as well as uh, Akashdeep Muni. The fundamental question was: 
Is the alarm over Kejriwal's arrest a fundamental overreaction? Mr. Shekhar Iyer, you heard three speakers before the break. Where do you come in in this? It's an important issue. It goes to the heart of free speech. It goes to the heart of what India prides itself in being, which is a free and fair democracy. Well, Rahul, uh, the democracy in danger is a recurring theme from 2014, actually. Ever since Prime Minister came, I mean, rather when ever since Modi became Prime Minister, we have had this democracy being in danger. In fact, democracy dying also and again having reincarnations, then again to die further at every general election. And the whole idea is to show, you know, that why we believe in, uh, you know, recycle of this uh, birth and death. And the whole idea is to show this time, uh, Rahul, because everybody knows the outcome of this 2024 election. But the opposition realizing its state of mess, from seat sharing to an agreed you know, common minimum agenda, all that they can do is to show that elections may appear to be fair, rather they appear to be free, but they are not fair. And actually, it is Kejriwal who decided the timing of his arrest. It is not ED. Kejriwal, by avoiding those uh, nine summons, he wanted to take it to the doorstep of the elections, and which he succeeded, in the hope that ED would not dare to pick him up. Rather, he thought the Prime Minister Modi's government would not dare to do it. That is where he lost the gamble. Because the proceedings in the Delhi High Court showed after the judges examined the files, they did not see any reason why they should grant any immunity to Kejriwal. Now, after having done that, now you are seeing the rest of the thing. And it is indeed, indeed a mockery of opposition politics the very Congress party which had wanted action against Kejriwal on the basis of the first available evidence of this scam is now standing by him. And mind you, it is not the entire Congress party. It is Rahul Gandhi. It is a leadership. Rest of the Congress leaders feel, what are we doing? This guy got us out only by charging us with corruption and whatnot in state after state. Everywhere it was Kejriwal who finished the Congress. And today the plight of the Congress is such, particularly its leadership, that they have to stand by him. That is one part. And the second part is, uh, Rahul, see, Kejriwal or any of these politicians, I'm not going into who is paying for these, uh, you know, who is going to pay these uh, lawyers the fees. But the fact is, they have the best of counsel how to beat about the bush. There is no dearth of lawyers. In okay. fact, that is a sign of our, how alive is our democracy. Our judicial system is strong. They are going to work under any pressure. It is going to go by evidence. And right now, whatever has been presented as per the provisions of TMLA, which were approved by the Supreme Court, things are looking not nice for Kejriwal. That's a fact. But I'm worried about this democracy danger being taken too far, so that when Prime Minister gets the third mandate, that yes. will be a, a, a launch of a special campaign okay. to show that he may have won elections, but he hasn't actually won. Well, Akashdeep uh, Muni. Just 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Before I need to bring in Akash Deep Muni. Why let, did he get a let, third one second. Term. Yes, 10 seconds. He's not getting no third term. Ten Opposition is doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ten thank seconds, you, uh, Dr. Ten Muni. Ten just, just a couple of uh, uh, 10 seconds rather. Rahul, I want to clarify that I think uh, we need to be very careful. We have not condemned Kejriwal as either guilty yeah. or uh, being corrupt. We are not, that is the job of a judge and the judiciary. We are just saying that ED has been following legal guidelines. Because let me be very honest, who is corrupt and who isn't is now Absolutely. totally relative. Till now, only one person and his firm have been directly linked through money trail to having paid the then coal minister who then allocated coal scam. That person, BJP wanted arrested and jailed. That person is today in BJP. Yeah. So who is corrupt, who isn't, is not a question anymore. It's not a question. Now, the point is, let me bring in Akash Deep Muni. This is important, Akash Deep Muni. Does, does the lack of popular support behind Mr. Kejriwal worry you? Where is the arm admi that he speaks for? Party units are coming out, councillors are marching or will march or whatever it is. Where is the arm admi? Even they seem to have deserted him, number one. Number two, sir, and this is a question I must ask you. Please play the game that uh, Mr. Tehseen Punawala refused to play with yes. Dr. Ranganathan, but play course. it with me. It's holy today, as someone said. Do you trust, <laughs> do you trust the judiciary? Do you trust the judiciary when... 
the electoral bonds verdict was handed out. Yes or no? Yes, I trust the judiciary. Yes. So you must presumably trust the judiciary when they said that there is no interim protection for Mr. Kejriwal from arrest, setting the stage for what happened on Thursday. Yes or no? Uh, did that say that? I'm only Can asking. You quote the, can you quote the justice? Yes, sir. sir? Yes, sir. They yes, said quote. no yes. interim protection from arrest for Mr. Kejriwal. Those yeah, are the exact words. With. Yeah, yeah. I agree with, with you. Yes. You agree? Yes. So then how is democracy in Khatra when the courts, I'll, I'll tell you. When, the courts I'll tell you. when the courts have weighed and in that hearing I'll of course you. if you remember ED was called to the back and asked by the judge as a sidebar along with the counsel that Mr. Kejriwal had appointed that day to peruse the evidence and it was only after that was vetted by the justices that they passed that order which you agree with. So, democracy no, the, mein kaise there, when everything there, is there working went, according to procedure, process, due process. Muni sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul ji, for uh, this question. And uh, while you played the game with me, I'll also take the privilege. Happy Holi to you and all the fan Thank panelists. You, uh, with uh, uh, Raghunathan ji, my good friend. Raghunathan ji, I have a sim small question. Just say yes or no. Okay. Because we are talking about democracy khatre mein hai ya nahi hai. Uh, there is, uh, I'll name some people. You tell me that uh, were they accused by Bharati Janta Party of scams and uh, did they sh shift their ships? Uh, first is Ashok Chavan. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm telling you. Uh, Ashok Chavan, sir. Yes, yes. yes. Hemant Bishwa Sarma, Sarada scam. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Chagan Bhujwal, Maharashtra Sarada scam. Of course. Scam. Yes. Ajit Power, irrigation scam. What's the point? Yes, sir. Naam to maine bataya main sabse pehle. Chale. Narayan Rani land scam. Uh, Subindu Adhikari. Rahul, you need to come control. in here. I need to come in, Rahul. It's okay. Rahul. It's okay. Let him finish his list. Haan. His list. I have already, Haan. in fact, begun Haan. my show the by saying. Haan. No, no, no. Akashdi Muni. Akashdi Muni. I began. Akashdi Muni. Let me complete my point. Yeah, sir. of course. Let I'm just wanting to remind yeah. you that we are wasting no, no. time because I've already yeah. brought out the hypocrisy yeah. in my introduction. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir, sir, you've given three and a half minutes to my fellow panelists. So give me at least 50 seconds. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Chalo. Take it. Now, Tapasroy, which is named as uh, recently in the fifth list that he is going to fight Lok Sabha elections from Kolkata in the Bharatiya Janata Party ticket. Uh, the interesting factor I want to tell you that uh, in your introduction, Rahul ji, you said that when corrupt people come into government, governors, then democracy is in So these people, as for Bharatiya Janata Party, were corrupt. And they have got tickets and they are going to come into government. No, no, I need so to answer this. Let him, let him finish. Please, sir, sir, ma ma'am, eight minutes. The, there are many statements by honorable justices, like Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice Dipankar Dutta, who came down heavily on ED that you cannot misuse PMLA to keep someone uh, inside jail for eternity. There are a number of uh, justices like Justice Bhuiya, who said recently that ED should not misuse uh, PMLA, which will lower its value. We all know how it has been misused. Till now, till today, it has been said uh, by Bharatiya no, Janata no, Party. There is a money trail. No, no, wait a minute, ma'am. Just 30 seconds more, and then I'll be uh, backing off. My, there is a, not a money trail. There is no money trail. And recently, the enforcement director yeah. and lawyer in the court said that there is not, there is no money trail till found out. We want to find now, as my good friend Punawala ji said. Now, my my last point, which I want to make, is that. ED seems to be working like a Vasuli gang in this point of view. Uh, no, no, I take strong offense to this kind of language for the One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, Vasuli no, no, one second, one second. Let, let, let him finish, one minute, just let him okay, finish, let, please. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Like in the case of Sarah Chandra Reddy, we have, we have seen that he has been, uh, there is money trail in but what is the point? buying bonds. What is, know, what is the point that you are making? My point is that. That when Bharati Janta Party does it, when there is money trail, in case of Bharati Janta Party, mm -hmm. nobody questions them. There is no questions by enforcement directorate. There is no question by media. Even the Bharati Janta Party people don't question them. Okay. The interesting factor is that 
when there is no money trail in this particular context of uh, Amadi Party, there is all the questions. No, that no, is no, 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 no. So you're no, saying no, no, no. you're That's saying right. this is tyrannical yeah. action, Sanju Vanma. Many people, many people, action. objectively speaking, going... will have a problem. The finance minister gets up, tables a white paper in Parliament, lists the scams. The first scam on her list is other scam. The kingpin of that scam, allegedly, is Ashok Chavan. In which party is Ashok Chavan? Okay, I Sanjeev will now Rahul. answer without. Yes, Rahul, I heard you. I heard Akash Muni and I heard Mr. Ranganathan also. You know, when people sit here, and I'm not going to accuse today anyone of being a, a monkey balancer. You know, people may have their own compulsions to do monkey balancing. I don't have any compulsions, and I will speak the truth. I have been asked point blank, and I do a zillion debates more than anybody else across the spectrum. People ask me, and I pointedly tell them, if. You know, Himanta Biswa Sarma, Chagan Bhujbal, Narayan Rane, Ashok Chavan, uh, you know, uh, beat Yashwan Jadav, or for that matter, any XYZ who was earlier on the other side and today he is or she is a part of the BJP, please knock on the doors of the Supreme Court and bring that trial to fruition and do not compare apples with oranges. And I'll tell you why. Jabdi kuch hota hai. Who is the person who you first point your fingers at? It is either, either Narendra Modi or Amit Shah. And I tell you, look at Narendra Modi's credentials because I always believe that leadership starts from the top. Top. It does not start from the bottom. Narendra Modi ke char bhai aur ek behen. Unka to aapka naam bhi nahi pata hoga. Somebody is drawing a 5,000 rupees salary. Somebody is drawing an 8,000 rupees salary. But aapko sab pata hai. Okay. You know, be it... Sonia Gandhi beat Rahul Gandhi both out on okay. uh, bail in the National Heroin Scam, beat Jija Ji Robert Vadra out on bail in the Bikaner so land the grab scam. Rahul. Look at the proportion. I am saying always have a sense of proportion for okay. 8 minutes. Minute. Show me one sitting chief minister whose entire top brass, top cabinet and he are all in okay. jail. Response, the response coming. Response coming. Doctor Akash Deepan second. Doctor Akash Deepan second. Akash one second. First of all, Anand Ranganathan is one of the best panelists here. But more importantly, in the case of Chagan Bujbal, because his name was taken, the same professional organization enforcement directed went to court and said, Rahul, here exactly. this. They said we lost the fight. We lost the fight. We lost the fight. Tell me, Rahul, can you lose a file? Does the ED not have hard copies? Does the ED not have it in its hard disk? What kind of nonsense is going on? In Himanta Viswa Sharma's case, from an accused, he becomes an approver. Viewers, okay, one second, gentlemen, gentlemen. Okay, ma'am, one second, one second. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you. Very simple. Let me tell you. Okay. He's lying on Chagal Bujban, says uh, Ms. Varma. Sanju Varma says it's lying. Okay, one minute, one second. I don't have so much time. Yes, Dr. Ranganathan wants to come in. Dr. Ranganathan wants to come in. Okay, okay, Dr. Ranganathan. Yes, very quickly. I need to move on to the next one. Yes. Yeah, uh, Rahul, exposing the hypocrisy does yeah. not mean monkey balancing if somebody yes. loves India. Now, yeah. in one sentence, let me encapsulate. Yeah. I agree with what Sanjuji says that cases will continue. Sure, excellent, great. Just say what you were saying before they were inducted in BJP that they are corrupt. Say Naveen Zindal is corrupt. Say Pawar is corrupt. That you would not say. That Why means you your you definition of corruption is the job of the court to declare somebody corrupt. You say you will not you are saying they are corrupt. Let the court okay. decide. Stop saying they are corrupt. You say okay. let court decide. Okay, okay. one minute, one, one minute. Okay, one minute, minute, one minute. Let's not. Okay, okay. Five minutes. Okay, okay. Doctor, 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 and Miss Varma. Doctor, Miss Varma. Okay, just read it out. Doctor, and Miss Varma. Okay. Okay, one second. 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 One second
he championed liberalism the first amendment viewers was the other way democracy khatre mein thi us time the other big hypocrite indira gandhi who spoke for the poor but then viewers under democ- under emergency did certain things to them without their consent which you all know about it was called nas bandi so hypocrisy has been around viewers all of them this entire brigade hypocritical let me tell you on certain issues like corruption but that doesn't itself mean that democracy khatre mein for that to happen there has to be complete erosion of state credibility across the board you can't one day get up and say ah election electoral bonds yeah supreme court we love you we are coming now you know you are the chief justice is our hero and the next day wo bechara goes the other way you guys get palpitations and democracy khatre mein this doesn't work viewers this is schizoid and that's the word i used in my article anyhow let me just move on because there's much more schizophrenia we need to come to terms with the bjp has announced its fifth list as you all know by now in total the bjp has declared 402 of its contestants and over the next few days more will be handed tickets but for the fifth list there were some surprises kangana ranawat who is a fierce modi supporter has been given a ticket from mandi in himachal pradesh it promises to be a high voltage fight as she goes up against pratibha singh who is hoping to encash upon sympathy for her deceased husband and multiple chief minister multiple time chief minister veer bhadra singh but it was a decision to deny varun gandhi a ticket from pilibhit in uttar pradesh that has grabbed the headlines gandhi was overlooked in favor of jitin prasada who had quit the congress ahead of the up assembly elections in 2022 varun's exclusion has led many in the opposition to remark that the bjp has punished him for choosing to speak his mind on issues deemed inconvenient for the bjp his dropping the opposition says is a further confirmation of the alleged lack of intra party democracy within the bjp it is true that varun has often taken an independent line breaking away from the party on burning issues and some of his quotes viewers i'll run you through he slammed the up government for the allowing of the sale of alcohol at metro railway stations he says the move could promote alcohol consumption within moving trains this was on 22nd december 2023 he criticized the suspension of amethi sanjay gandhi hospitals license injustice to those dependent on hospital for healthcare and livelihoods he said on 22nd september 23 raised the issue of unemployment and slam the center he said over 60 lakh sanctioned central and state government posts are vacant this on 28th may 2002 22 sought accountability for farmers killed in lakhimpur kheri protesters can't be silenced through murder justice must be delivered 7th october 2021 he also slammed as it were to happen kangana ranaut's freedom came in 2014 remark he said it was the anti national act and a betrayal of all those who shed blood for the nation that was on 11th november 2021 but the bjp has let it be known that the decision to feel jitin in gandhi's place is only linked to winability pili beat was traditionally varun's mother menika gandhi's seat she has been elected to parliament from there till about 2009 when she handed over that seat to varun gandhi menika in 2009 contested from sultanpur varun seat in 2014 post delimitation menika and varun swap seats back menika again contested from pilibhit and varun contested from sultanpur in 2019 varun returned to pilibhit and won big but this time at least 18 bjp members including former mps and ministers were lobbying for the seat and viewers the bjp believes that one of them jitin prasada has a good chance of winning and perhaps varun doesn't that's what we are being told but even as controversy rages over varun a post on social media being attributed to congress spokesperson shrinet against kangana has sparked a massive slug fest between the bjp and the congress though the congress spokesperson claims that her account was hacked but the distasteful commentary being attributed to her has nevertheless brought the focus back on sexism in congress ranks kangana has also tweeted a disappointment earlier of course she thanked the bjp for reposing faith in her by giving her a ticket from her birthplace now viewers let me let me open this up very quickly and i want to bring in shekhar ayer uh mr ayer how do you see this move of releasing varun gandhi and giving his constituency to jitin prasad what do you think could have necessitated that the opposition says it's clear he spoke against party line he's been disciplined 
the BJP can't brook dissidents. Well, uh, Rahul, you know, Varun's problems with the BJP leadership has been uh, on from 2017. If you remember, the, even earlier than that, he did not attend the BJP National Executive. Right. And in the, uh, the even the 2017 UP elections, hmm. he did not campaign. For some time it has been going on. Of course, in 2019, they decided to anyway not do anything with Varun's candidature and both the mother and son were allowed to contest. Otherwise, the, the idea is that only one member, I mean, one person should be there from the family. Now, after that, from 2019 to 20, I mean, what we are seeing now, yeah. Varun Gandhi has been, in fact, uh, my understanding is he has been even talking to Samajwadi Party. Oh, into okay. Okay. So, so loyalty can... was under question. Okay, yeah. Sanjeev Varma, yeah, very see... quickly. Loyalty was the issue or is it disciplining okay. somebody for speaking their mind? You know, uh, Rahul, I'll give you an unpopular opinion. One thing I realized after joining politics is that loyalty does not command a premium, you know. So I don't think loyalty really matters because election uh, season may udhar ke log idhar, idhar ke log udhar. That is a, a you know norm. But I think in the case of Varun Gandhi, I think it was gross insubordination. And I've also tweeted about this. You know, I think the BJP obviously like any other party pays a premium to winnability and the winnability factor because you know you have to be in power to effect change. You're not running an NGO, you're running a political party. But Varun Gandhi, look at the kind of opens he has been writing. Openly taking pot shots at Narendra Modi, at Amit Shah, the top two guys in the party. And you know, I think this holds true for everybody. Whether it is a JP Morgan, a Congress, a BJP or Rahul Shiv Shankar's News 18 or a Times Now, there is a line that you cannot cross. That line is Lakshman Rekha. You are expected to be loyal. You are expected to have integrity. You are expected to be an out performer. You are expected to do your part. But if you keep questioning, constructive criticism is one thing. But when you degenerate constructive criticism into hauling your party bosses over the coals for no rhyme or reason, you have to face the music. And I'm very happy that Varun Gandhi has faced the music because it was long overdue. Varun okay. Gandhi ko pata hona chahiye. Lakshma Rekha cross karne ka yehi natija hoga. Okay, Sanju Varma. Certainly, being very honest, not pulling punches at all, viewers. You can't get it any 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 other I way. I hope I continue to be okay. the national spokesperson after this. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure. I'm sure you will. You, you've, you've spoken your mind. You've probably killed this entire debate as it stands. We leave it at this, viewers. It's been uh, it's been an interesting, feisty, holy day debate. Uh, lots more coming up after this short break. Don't go away. आपका बैंक Festival of Colors has finally arrived. Visuals of Holi Ka Dahan and Holi celebrations have arrived from all across India with streets being struck with vibrant colors and celebrations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his greetings for the festival to all his fellow countrymen. Prime Minister Modi also conveyed his wishes to the people of the nation, addressing them as his parivarjan in a social media post. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh also visited the Siachen uh, and celebrated Holi with soldiers who remain on vigil even in the world's most difficult terrain. Let's listen in to some of the reactions that's come in so far. So I'm extremely happy that I'm attending today's program here in the Rashtriya Swayam Mathura and that they did a very wonderful uh, havan for, uh, the, uh, for, every, for all the karyakartas, everybody who participated. It's a very, very important occasion for our Bharati Janta Party. Oh. Okay. 
आज की प्रसिद्ध बहुत होलियां हैं फूलों की होली लठमार होली गुलाल की होली ये रंग की होली है देखो ये पिचकारी की होली चल रही है और लड्डू जलेबी की होली हमारे यहाँ कन्हैया होली खेलने जाते हैं बरसाने में जब गोपियां देखती हैं कि कन्हैया हार गए होंगे थक गए होंगे भूखे लग रही होगी तब कन्हैया वो लड्डू भी खिलाती है गोपियां तो लड्डू की हमने इस होली पे सभी सनातनियों से बात कही है सबसे पहले हमें होली नशा मुक्त होकर मनानी चाहिए कोई नशा नहीं और किसी को दुख ना दे ऐसी होली खेले जिसमें सबको सुख मिले Thank you very much for gracing Rising Bharat. We are talking about a Vixit Bharat at uh, 2047. Smriti ji, I just want to read out something which has just come fresh off the uh, coals, if I may say that. Uh, this is what is being said. In a time of high unemployment, rising prices, corruption and oppression, Rahul Gandhi is the only hope for 1.35 billion Indians dedicated to bringing justice to every corner of our country and is the only leader who can end this regime of fascism and dictatorship. Hashtag only hope Rahul Gandhi. This is by Mr. P. Chidambaram. Your thoughts, ma'am? I think the sneggas in the audience speak louder than any statement that I can give. But I also believe that the destiny of a nation cannot be decided by a man who is scared of being defeated in a meeting. So a leader is one who does not leave his fleet behind. The gentleman hashtagged is somebody that I had the privilege of uh, contesting against in 2019. Victory and loss are a part of electoral politics. But what defines a leader is that if they have grit enough, courage enough, to stand with their own beliefs amongst their own people. And I don't think somebody who escapes 